In the past 24 months, Mr. Rani, we've seen uh, significant overcapacity building in, in steel mills in Europe, and many commentators have been talking about it. Do you think that situation still persists? Yes, but it's picking up. You know, the plants which I know had been reduced to 50, 60 percent output as far as their capacity was concerned. But the latest news is that they're picking up capacity now to 80 percent. So that's a good move. Uh, it appears that the steel consumption, from the point of view of whatever orders there are with the steel melting shops, uh, is improving. And uh, uh, in India, of, of course, this is a lean period because of the festivities and so on. But I think that from November onwards, certainly the consumption will pick up. So are you saying if the demand supply situation gets favorable, uh, the Indian steel sector is, is positioned to, to take advantage of the impending demand? I think India, in a way, is protected because of the restrictions in the import. Restrictions are not only through price, but also through facilities. It's not very easy to import steel into India just now with our problems at the ports and so on. So the Indian steel plants, as far as I can see, should go full out and uh, in their production and most of the steel will be taken up domestically. Sir, uh, what then, from a policy framework standpoint, do you think it's congenial to help steel makers expand their capacities? If by policy you mean that whether the raw materials would be available, uh, unfortunately there has been, there have been some bottlenecks and I think these are well uh, established through the press and the TV and so on. You know, POSCO's plant is in limbo and others also are not getting the clearances that, as far as raw materials are concerned. I think the decision-making process in India at the uh, bureaucratic level is rather slow and uh, that may have an impact on the expanded capacities which are being planned by various steel plants. Uh, in a way, th this will re result to a shortage and therefore the existing plants and capacities will be able to go full out.